All right, so this is now video three in my little project here. Started off as building a Windows 98 box, just making sure I could get it working with proper drivers. And then that turned into a repack. Can I repack a Windows 98 system into a slightly more modern case to make it look like a newer computer? And then that turned into how can I internally cable manage and high techify this as much as possible. And here's where we are now. So this is where it all began. This was the original beige tower that my Windows 98 system came from. And I took the motherboard out of here and put it in a new case and then began the adventure of can I get it to work and then what can I do to make it more modern and cool looking. So this is the humble beginnings and as you can see here in my garage i've got a handful of old dinosaur machines i've acquired over time that i held on to for pet projects this is the current one that we are looking at right now slightly better cable management again i believe because i got rid of the big wide ribbon cable that was going from here to the optical drive and somebody on my youtube channel actually recommended i should get a round ide cable which i did and so that's now going underneath the chassis and it's plugging into the optical drive there. I actually rerouted the audio cable from the sound card again underneath the chassis into the audio card. So there's one less wire going across here. Just kind of move the power out of the way a little bit. This looks a little cleaner and this is only really using for one thing. I've actually added a second solid state hard drive. So now I've got two. The first hard drive is what I put Windows 98 second edition on. I actually added a second solid state hard drive that now also has Windows XP Pro Service Pack 3 on here and I can actually dual boot between the two hard drives and the two operating systems. And this is what the inside of the case looks like now. And it continues to look a little better each time I fiddle with it. All right, so let's see what the dual boot looks like. So we can choose between 98 and XP Pro. We'll go ahead and do 98 first. Here we have Windows 98 in all its glory. Now, one thing I do notice I've been dealing with now, um, because I'm doing uh, a uh, DVI to HDMI adapter, whenever Windows 98 boots up, the screen is out of sync. So I have to go in here and, and change the refresh rate back to 60 hertz, and that syncs it back up, but it never seems to default to that sync. But here's our glorious uh, 4x3, 1024 by 768 Windows desktop uh, computer. Just It just it plays like a dream. I, I do have a handful of games loaded in here right now. I've got a ton of my old CDs from back in the day that I really can't wait to load up and play some of the really old nostalgic games. One of the things I really love about uh, the Sound Blaster card, especially the Sound Blaster Live, was the uh, sound fonts where you could load up a good general MIDI instrument. And I just love... I just love old school MIDI. And I've got a bunch of different sound font banks for that Sound Blaster Live to kind of play around with different MIDI instruments. So yeah, Windows 98 in all of its glory a uh, handful of games loaded. Uh, when you look at the computer here, the C drive, this is that 200 and, you know, basically 50 gig hard drive with next to nothing used. Windows 98 can't even see the XP hard drive because it's formatted in the uh, NT file system. But here's the, uh, here's the first solid state hard drive that's in that tower. So let's go ahead and reboot and let's take a look at XP. There's our Windows XP Pro Service Pack 3. Hoo-ha! And bam, 
look at that. This is Windows XP in all of its glory. I'm not sure why I just lost the network. It might still be booting up. But uh, yeah, now when we go into Windows XP, I can see the C drive, which is the Windows 98 uh, solid state. And I can see the XP hard drive, which is the 500 gig drive. Can also see um, my NAS. So I've got some mapped network drives on my network storage system. And this is how I'm getting software in and out of here. I had been asked a question on my YouTube uh, previous video about, do I plan on surfing the web? And that answer is a big fat no. That was never part of the plan, and I have been trying to get some browsers that would be compatible with XP, but the problem with those browsers, at least with this processor, is that this processor does not have the SSE hardware extension, uh, so it just can't run even a legacy browser that's catered to XP. So the only browser I've got is the old crappy Internet Explorer, I think version 8, and it is able to run the legacy update, which is the modern replacement, the Windows update. And I actually ran that and did all the updates I could on Windows XP. But uh, surfing the web is just not an option on this computer. And it was never part of the criteria. Honestly, I just wanted to be able to boot them up, make sure they worked, make sure they were completely hardware compatible with all the drivers. And then to be able to play some games. Right now, this came obviously stock with all the uh, Windows XP default games. And then I loaded in some of the good old fashioned pop cap games, which I had a bundle CD for. So um, I got some of those and I've just got tons of my old CDs on, on stuff that I want to play around with. Another question that was asked about using solid state drives, especially with XP and Windows 98 was, uh, you know, you, these don't support hard drive trim feature which means that if this computer was running all the time, it would be burning up that solid state hard drive faster than the drive should be burned up because of just how these older operating systems write to disk and how they just have so much sloppy um, files that they just throw all over the place all the time. So I'm aware of that issue, but these computers are not gonna be running all the time or these operating systems will not be running all the time. They're only gonna run when, uh, when I boot it up and I wanna play a game. So this thing is just meant to uh, relive some old feels and play some old games and just look at some old operating systems that were just, they were taken away from us far too soon. Uh, 98 was a great operating system. Windows XP is the operating system that nobody wanted to get rid of. It's the longest lasting operating system in Microsoft history. I think it lasted 14 years. They kept extending its retirement. Um, but yeah, these are fun operating systems. They work, they boot up pretty quickly. Uh, I, I do have one small issue with RAM. And that is that um, 512 megabytes of RAM is the most RAM I can put in here and still have Windows 98 work. I have actually got enough memory chips where I could um, load this thing up to like two gigs of RAM, which would be better for XP. However, when, even when I go to one gig, Windows 98 just starts to regurgitate and vomit all kinds of errors with uh, DirectX problems and driver problems and memory uh, you name it. So um, even though Windows 98 was a quote-unquote 32-bit operating system, it really can't uh, recognize or utilize more than like half a gig of RAM, which was an insane amount of memory back in the Windows 98 days. However, there's no way to kind of dual boot RAM. I wish there was. So I kind of have to keep it at that lowest common denominator. But for just a fun pet project, uh, this thing came out pretty well. It looks good on the inside. It runs well. It's got two of my favorite operating systems running on it, and I just can't wait to start messing around and playing some good old games on this newly repacked old computer. Thank you for watching. See you next time.